Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 2020-2021 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball Hobby 6 box half case break. Pick your team number 6 where all cards ship. And this is the second half of a case we started with pick your team number 5. So thanks to everybody for getting in. Here is our customer list and respective teams from Darren Porter and the Hawks down to Darren Porter and the Wizards. And here are the boxes that we're going to do from this. You can see I wrote a 6 on there to show that these are in the same case we did from pick your team 5. And then here is the list in person. Fast pass. Choose one. Fast pass one. Not serious one. Are completely different. Um, if you're doing the daytime, it's going to be decorated, but they're completely different. Um, so I think the fast pass is just for the the not scary farm, if I remember correctly. But yeah, if you're doing the daytime thing, not scary farm actually can be pretty terrifying. That was the first place that, um, if you've ever heard of like an interactive um, hall, like uh, maze, uh, where you have to sign a waiver allowing them to like touch you and stuff, that was the first place I ever experienced one of those. I paid extra to do that with like my girlfriend's time and our friends. They did not enjoy it. We had to use a safe word. <laughs> they had to escort us out because, because one of the girls was just in tears in the fetal position. I loved it, but it was, there's a reason they make you sign a waiver. But yeah, if you go to the daytime, I don't think it's anything like that. I don't think they actually do like the not scary farm stuff. I think it's just the regular knots. And it's probably just decorated for Halloween. So yeah, I think the fast pass is just for the not scary farm stuff. Is it worth it to do both or just pick one? Um, between what? Between like Knott's and Not Scary Farm? Um, not Scary, like Not Berry Farm and Not Scary Farm are completely different. It's the same exact park, but at nighttime. And like nobody does the rides or anything like that. It's literally just for the mazes. Like that's a, if, you, if you like Halloween stuff and you like being scared and like going through interactive mazes and stuff like that, then the Not Scary Farm is actually really cool. Because they actually put like a lot of a lot of effort into them, into their mazes and stuff, and like the the people and like the makeup. It's pretty insane. Yeah. No, it's pretty cool. But I mean, it's also extremely busy, Chad. Like, like maximum amount of people. So if you were going to do that and you want to hit, like, all the mazes, then in that, that's something that maybe you do the fast pass on, you know? Um, but, like, it's very busy. Oh, I hope you guys crush us. We don't deserve anything good happening to us. Just give up a couple home runs to Otani. That's all I ask. Just couple, throw a couple meatballs down the middle for him. I mean, financially, it would benefit me if, if Laddie won it instead of him. So. Um, Elite, uh, check the schedule that's pinned on the chat. All the stuff that's in orange or yellow, the yellow is the our filler breaks for the, the spots that are above them. Um, closest thing would probably be Topps uh, Diamond Icons Baseball. There's a 12-team random number block that's got nine spots left. Uh, that's the last random number block. We already did another one today. Uh, that was a more expensive random number block. I think it was only like six teams. So that's the last random number block there. Other than that, um, I would probably say like there's a filler for pick your team seven and eight of Optic Basketball. Um, that's from a full case, like seven and eight are both half case breaks from the same case. Uh, but that filler I think has like 26 spots left. It's pretty good value. It's like 42 bucks a spot, but, um, there's like five teams that are up for grabs for the case breaks that are like $150 teams. So, 
and 11 out of the 30 spots wins win teams in uh, either case or pick a team six or, or seven or eight so uh, after that it's pretty much all other optic basketball half case breaks um, that are probably like eight or nine teams straight up left from going but I, I mean that diamond icons it's one random number block left, nine team, nine spots. That's it. Yeah. But that should give you enough, like a nice little guide of what what's available to do still tonight. Um, I don't need to go home, so I'm good to stay as long as you guys want. First half of this case was very nice. I'm hoping that the second half follows through as well. Um, optic looks great this year. It, I mean, it's as good as the football was, which was great. So. Who dunked that? The pretty grinder. Brittany Griner have a dunk in competition today? Like in game? In game dunk from Brittany Griner? Anybody in the chat know uh, WNBA basketball? Who do you think would win in a one on one? Liz Cambage or Brittany Griner? I love me some Liz Cambage. I mean, that's what I'm thinking, though. But, like, Juice, have you seen uh, have you seen Liz Cambage, though? That girl's a monster. I don't know who's... I mean, I think Bryant Griner's got to be probably a little bit taller than, than Liz Cambage, but... If you've never seen her, Liz, Liz Cambage is like the Zion of uh, WNBA. Right, Mark? She's a freak. She like manhandles people. It's pretty impressive. 
I just don't know how our handles are off the ball. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying, like a one-on-one. -on -one. I haven't actually, I just remember Griner. Oh yeah, Brittany Griner was a freak. Remember when she was at Baylor? Oh. oh my god, that girl could do everything. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what brought it up, is because there was a ESPN uh, highlight on their top tens of a girl in the WNBA that dunked in-game. And I'm almost positive it had to be Brittany Griner. Like, in-game dunks. I was like, oh. That's pretty cool. But like I've like I've seen like videos of Liz Cambage play, and I'm just like that lady is just angry and wants to like dominate everybody in her way. After Parker got drafted, Candace Parker, yeah. And some of those UConn teams, yeah. I mean, UConn's been like that. I remember it was like back and forth UConn and like Baylor over and over and over again. And then like after Baylor kind of dipped out, Stanford kind of popped up there, you know. And now then it was like UConn Stanford. But I think, honestly, I think she's, like, the only reason that Baylor was up there, right? Like, I don't think Baylor's historically, like, a great women's college basketball team. Maybe they are. Maybe I'm just wrong. But I know, like, Stanford is always, like, a really good women's basketball team. Yeah, I remember that stuff. That was, it was just crazy watching that and just being like, what is she going to do now? Yeah, exactly. I think we've all kind of watched around the same time for the same reasons. You know? You see Brittany Griner, and then you're like, holy shit. And then you see, like, um... What's her name? Uh, Sabrina Ionescu, you know what I mean? When she was dominating. You're just like, holy shit, that girl's crazy. Katie Lou Samuelson, all that stuff. Cameron still has a single game record, right? For what? For points, Mark? Single game record of what? Are you talking about dunks? Box six for us guys, and then we'll go through everything, see what we got. Yeah, points. I think she dropped 50 something in a game. That's still the record for points in a single game. That's crazy. You were at the first ever WNBA dunk by Lisa Leslie back at the forum back in the day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know it's funny, B man. I remember watching that that clip, the highlight clip for that, and people just being like, "Holy shit, she's a freak! <laughs> Look at her." Yeah, the first WNBA in-game dunk. I, I remember that clip. I still think it's funny that um, uh, Cheryl Miller, the story of Cheryl Miller back in like high school, how um, she scored a hundred points in the first half by herself, and like her team was winning like a hundred to nothing, and like the uh, uh, and the other high school decided just to like get on their bus and leave during halftime.
<laughs> He's like crazy. Twelve dollar ticket. Yeah, I went and saw. Um, God, what was his name? Was it Darren? Who was, it? was something Ham? Um, big dude. I think he was out of Syracuse. I think it started with a D. Uh, but he was he played um, before it was like the G League. It was like God, what what the what league was it? What did they call it? But they had a team that played in like Anaheim. I know that's what I'm saying. She just crushed it. She killed everybody. I can't remember what um, what league it was, but whatever it was, I remember going to those games in Anaheim every once in a while. Like we get free tickets and we go. It was just so crazy, like, seeing these guys that were just like, holy crap, that guy's such a great athlete. Look at him. Like, he can play like crazy. And it's just like, these guys will never, ever touch the NBA either. Like, they've been up. They've been down. You know what I mean? But, like, like these are this is how good they are. And these are the guys that can't make it. And I'm just like, it just gives you that much more respect for, like, all the guys that do, you know? Good luck, guys. Pascal Siakam, Elite Dominators, Raptors, Hollow, Roman Quijano. Was it MBDL or something like that? Yeah, whatever it was. It was crazy. Oh, we got a second case hit. What are those called, Jason? The Optic? Oh, yeah. yeah. Apparently, we got two of them. Yeah, nice. I hit three in the last case. Oh, did you? Oh, there you go. Darius Garland, Cleveland Cavaliers, Stephen Blair, Photon. Tyrese Halliburton Hollow, there you go. Kings, Rob Wager. Patrick Williams for the Bulls, Ben Wang. Nice rated rookie. And James Harden rating threes for the Nets and Luis Reeves. Kobe White Hollow for the Bulls, Ben Wang. I wanted to call it like the Arena League for basketball, but it definitely was not Arena League. <laughs> this box was five ninety nine ninety nine, but we are sold out. Okay, so we have a uh, order to ship. And then uh, you can just walk the door yeah. Ant Man, so Thunder, or sorry, Timberwolf, Sean Maddock, okay. and Steph Curry Orange to one ninety nine for the Warriors, Alfonso Mendoza. Zion for the Pelicans and Sean Maddock. LeBron, base, Lakers, Matthew Silverstein. RJ Hampton for the Nuggets and Tomoya Komiyagi. And Zach Levine, hollow for the Bulls, Ben Wang. Alex Caruso, green to 149 for the Lakers, Matthew Silverstein. Ooh, redemption time. Please be who we think it is. I don't think he's live in this, right? He's a redemption. Sadiq Bay is Pistons. Josh Zerlkowski. And Anthony Edwards, the rookies for the Timberwolves and Sean Maddock. Russell Wilsbrook, hollow for the Wizards. Darren Porter. He's not live. Use is, is confirming. Good night, guys. Yeah, that's right. Wait, are you guys? You you guys are on. You're here tomorrow, right? Okay. For some reason, I was like, I couldn't. I was drawing a blank. Okay. Redemption. Rated rookie signatures blue. What's what's blue out of? Well, first let's just look at it before we give ourselves. Card one seventy five. It's not. But it's very nice. It's a manual quickly. Rated rookie signatures blue for the Knicks. Emmanuel quickly. Very nice. Uh, Tomoya Komiyagi. All right. New nice. York Knicks. What's the signatures blue numbered out of? Cardboard. Yeah, I know, right? 
Who doesn't say who 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 would say no to Emmanuel quickly? That guy's a freak. Um. It was rated rookie signatures, right? Yeah, the good one. Rated rookie signatures. That's the one you want. Rated rookie signatures checklist. Blue is out of forty nine. There you go. Forty nine. Manual quickly out of. Michael Porter Jr. Hollow for the Nuggets. Tomoya Komiyagi. And Nick Richards, the wrong Hornet, uh, to 99. Hornets, Sonny Rena. Steph Curry, Warriors, Alfonso Mendoza. And Damian Lillard, hollow for the Blazers, Matt Johnston. Remember, guys, all cards do ship. We got our first Lamelo for the Hornets and Sonny Rana, the rookies. Base. And Jason Tatum, All-Stars, hollow for the Celtics and Akihito Mas Masuda. And last, let's see what we got here. So rookie cards. Season, we, Desmond Bain, hollow for the Grizz. That is Dick the Wind. So and nice pink velocity Xavier Tillman out of 79 for the Grizz as well. Nick Nguyen. Woo! Tyrese Halliburton, hollow, rated rookie, auto. Kings, Rob Wager. There you go, Rob. Congrats. James Weissman, rated rookie. Warriors, Alfonso Mendoza. This case has been very hot. Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo, PJ McNeely. Luka Doncic, Mavericks, Hu Hua Lin. And JJ Redick, hollow for the Pelicans, Sean Maddox. Manual quickly, Knicks, Tomoya, Komiyagi. And Zion, Stargazing Hollow for the Pelicans, Sean Maddox. Nice second box. So quickly out of 49 and a Halliburton Hollow rated rookie auto. Yes, please. Yeah. I mean, like I said, Optic is great this year. It's a great looking set. I love this stargazing too. Especially in the hollows and the the uh, numbered parallels. Box number three. Let's keep it going. You got Kelly Oubre Jr. Pink Velocity to 79 for the Warriors and Alfonso Mendoza. And Chauncey Billups reigning threes. Hollow for the Pistons. Josh Drozowski. And Tyrell Terry rated rookie. Hollow for the Mavericks. Hu Hua Lin. Steph Curry. Warriors. Alfonso Mendoza. Tyrese Halliburton. Base. Kings. Rob Wager. Steph Curry reigning threes for the Warriors. Alfonso Mendoza. And Jimmy Butler. Hollow for the Heat. Joe Parisi, John Morant, base, Grizzlies, Nick DeWin, and Bojan Bogdanovic to 59. Blue for the Utah Jazz, I Capola. Let's get another redemption. Let's get a second crack at Lamelo, please. Patrick Williams, base. For the Bulls, Ben Wang and Mike Connolly, Hollow, Jazz, Icapola. You got Denny, Orange, rated rookie. That's to 199 for the Wizards, Darren Porter. And Kemba Walker, Elite Dominators, Hollow for the Celtics. And Akihito Masuda. Giannis Antetokounmpo, All Stars for the Bucks. Uh, that is PJ McNeely. And Kevin Love, hollow for the Cavs. Steve Blair. Gold Vinyl. We hit one in the first half of the case. Auto, too. Sadiq Bey for the Pistons. Josh Drozkowski. And Julius Randle, red to 99. For the Knicks, that is Tomoya Komiyagi. Auto is Onyeka Okongwu. 
Rated rookie Otto Hawks, Darren Porter, and James Weissman, the rookies for the Warriors, Alfonso Mendoza. Yeah, we hit a gold vinyl rated rookie, one of one auto uh, of Zeke Naji in the first half of this case. I went to college with him. With Zeke Naji? Yep, I had a class with him. He was at Arizona State? No. Oh. Come on now. Wait, where was, where was he at? Arizona. Don't you dare call me a Sun Devil. Forks up, baby. Oh, ew. I'm just joking. I'm USC all the way. So. Oh, really? Yeah. RJ Hampton Nuggets. Uh, that is Tomoya Komiyagi and Kawhi Leonard red to 99. Elite Dominators. Clippers, Mark Neubauer. Tyrese Maxey rated rookie hollow for the 76ers. Bruce McPherson. And Spencer Dinwiddie Green to 149 for the Nets and Lewis Reeves. Giannis Elite Dominators for the Bucks. PJ McNeely. And James Weissman, rated rookie, or not rated rookie, the rookies, hollow for the Warriors, Alfonso Mendoza. Ant-Man, Anthony Edwards, base for the Timberwolves, Sean Maddock, and Steph Curry, Warriors, Alfonso Mendoza again. Colin Sexton, hollow, Cavaliers, Stephen Blair. And Giannis, orange, to 199 for the Bucks, PJ McNeely. John Moran, elite dominators for the Grizzlies. That is Nick Nguyen. Zion base for the Pelicans, Sean Maddock. LeBron James, elite dominators, Lakers, Matthew Silverstein. LeBron base also for the Lakers, Matthew Silverstein. Isaiah Stewart, Pistons, Josh Druskowski, and Bam Adebayo hollow for the Heat, Joe Parisi. Jeremy Grant, pink velocity to 79 for the Pistons. Josh Druskowski and Peyton Pritchard, Celtics, Akihito Masuda. You got Giannis Antetokounmpo, All-Stars, Hollow, Bucks again, PJ McNeely. And LeBron, All-Stars, Lakers, Matthew Silverstein. Skyler Mays, rated rookie, Hollow for the Hawks, Darren Porter. And RJ Hampton Green to 149 for the Nuggets. Uh, that is Tomoya Komiyagi. And Otto, Isaac Okoro, Cavaliers. Stephen Blair, rated rookie base, Otto. And Luca, stargazing for the Mavericks. And Hu Hua Lin to finish off box four. Two more boxes to go. Plenty of opportunities for ridiculousness. Elite Dominators, Giannis Hollow for the Bucks. That is PJ McNeely. And LaMelo, rated rookie base. Cav uh, sorry, Hornets, Sonny Rana. Lugans Dort, Hollow for the Thunder. Sean Maddock. And Derek Rose, Red for the Pistons to 99. Detroit Pistons, Josh Druskowski. Giannis base for the Bucks. PJ McNeely and Luca base for the Mavericks, Hukwa Lin. Seth Curry, hollow for the 76ers. Bruce McPherson. And Mike Conley, orange to 199 for the Jazz and Icapola. I've got Josh Richardson, green for the Mavericks to 149. Hu Jade McDaniels, Timberwolves. Sean Maddock and Luca lights out for the Mavericks. Hu Lin. Duncan Robinson rating threes for the Heat. Joe Parisi, hollow. Steph Curry, base. Warriors, Alfonso Mendoza. Ricky Rubio, hollow for the Timberwolves. Sean Maddock. And Obi Toppin for the Knicks. And Tomoya Komiyagi. RJ Barrett, orange to 199. For the Knicks, Tomoya Komiyagi. And Tyrese Maxey, 76ers. Bruce McPherson. Very nice rated rookies. We've had some nice autos in this second half, too. It's been very solid. 
I don't think we've had any vet autos yet, knock on wood. And Devin Vossel, rated rookie, hollow for the Spurs to finish it off. I Capola. The first redemption was a rated rookie. I think they've all been rated rookie autos. Rated rookie, rated rookie, rated rookie, rated rookie. Huh. Let's go six for six, guys. Come on. Last box. Let me clear this up real quick. RJ Hampton Nuggets. One of my favorite uh, parallels coming up. That. Uh, black Velocity, that Nuggets, RJ Hampton is Tomoya Komiyagi and Markel Fultz to 39, Black Velocity, number one for the Magic and Eric Ainge. Zion for the Pelicans. Sean Maddock. Anthony Edwards again. I know, right, Mark? It's been a very solid case. Uh, base for the Thunder for the Timberwolf, Sean Maddock, and Lamelo Hollow, the rookies. There you go, Hornets, Sunny Rana, John Morant, stargazing, Grizzlies, Nick Dewin, and Robert Woodard, rated rookie, Hollow Kings, Rob Wager, LeBron, base for the Lakers, Matthew Silverstein, and Kristoff. Hollow for the Mavericks and Hu Hua Lin. Very nice. LaMelo, the rookies, hollow. One more auto coming up. Please be redemption. Come on. It's not. But it is a gold out of 10. Oh, it's not an auto. Buddy healed. Gold out of 10. Kings, Rob Wager. Luka All Stars, Mavericks, Hu Hua Lin, and Joel Embiid, Elite Dominators Hollow for the 76ers, Bruce McPherson, Sadiq Bay, Pistons, Josh Druskowski, and John Morant Hollow again, Grizzlies, Nick to win. John Morant Pink Velocity as well to 79, Grizzlies, Nick to win. And our first non-rookie auto, of course, it's the last box. Chandler Hutchinson, Signature Series Gold for the Bulls. Ben Wang to 10. Anthony Edwards, base for the Thun uh, Timberwolves. Sean Maddock, that's the rookie's base. Isaiah Stewart for the Pistons. Josh Druskowski, Giannis, base for the Bucks. PJ McNeely and Luka, base for the Mavericks. Hu Hua Lin. Yeah, one more color coming up. Peyton Pritchard. Uh, Celtics is Akihito Masuda and DeMontis Sabonis Hollow for the Pacers. And that is Aaron Whittington to finish it off. And there you go, guys. Another half case break in the books. That was 2020-2021 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball Hobby six box half case break. Pick your team number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Sean. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.